There is a rather incredible, rather impressive project currently being undertaken by an individual named Gustav Manche, I hope is the correct way to pronounce this, at Gus33000 on Twitter. And this project is to bring full desktop Windows 11 to the original Surface Duo. Now, I do want to point out that Duo 2 is not included in this. This is just Duo 1 for now. And I have, at times, brought news of development of this project to you fine ladies and gentlemen here on this particular channel. And today, I have some massive news to bring to you about it. Some really big, giant developments have been made on this project. This project, by the way, you can find a link to in the description. There is a GitHub link in the description that you can go to and you can go through the instructions on how to install Windows 11 on Surface Duo with the developments I'm about to show you. You may be inclined to wish to do so. We're gonna talk after I talk about all the new stuff, the new crazy stuff going on, exactly why maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. We're going to kind of talk about that briefly. But for now, without further ado, let's talk about what's been going on. So on Surface Duo running Windows 11, there have been several big problems with this because there's just issues with getting this thing ported, right? We don't have the touchscreen working. We don't necessarily have the LTE working, the cellular connectivity. Now, there's a lot of things you got to get working for this to be a thing that's going to function, right? And one of the big things that was not working was a really important one for Surface Duo, and that is the two screens. Only one screen, the left screen, was functional. So then, just the other day, Gus sends out this tweet and he just says, it's happening. What you see here is you see that left screen on, but you see the right screen kind of trying to do something. That was progress. And a lot of us went, oh, wow, he is making real progress on this graphics driver. We're getting, we're inching, we're, we're slowly inching our way towards both screens working. And I know for myself, I wondered whether or not both screens were going to function properly, right? So on Android, Surface Duo, uh, is seen by Android as being one large screen and Android there's some software that Microsoft has kind of tweaked to make it think it's two screens. So I wondered will Windows see two monitors or will it see one monitor and it's going to have to be tweaked in some way to make it work. So I wondered how this was going to pan out. Well luckily we didn't have to wait much longer because he then tweets out this screenshot here actually a series of screenshots where you have some weird glitchiness going on. So you can see here that hey the graphics driver the Adreno 640 GPU is recognized. That's a really big piece of progress but then this screenshot here of this shows uh, there's some weirdness going on on the drivers still but again another update and then there's more updates coming so then he tweets this and this is this is the one that i was like wow okay we've we've really gotten somewhere because this is just a screenshot of both duo screens and, and, and what you see here is you see it acting as if it is two discrete monitors you have a start menu here and a start menu here and then he, of course he's pointing out that the snap menus the little snap layout is uh as he put it cursed <laughs> definitely not behaving the way you would expect it to it, it wants to snap them vertically it's a little odd looking but hey maybe that's actually what you do want i'd love to see snap layouts like that kind of on duo currently on android i'd love to be able to to, to multi-window within a screen i don't know if i would use it but it'd be cool to have it at least microsoft but there you go there's duo windows 11 both screens functioning, and if you think that that's all that we've got here, you're wrong. There are more tweets. There's more information. So let's go to the next one. Here we have hitting that, uh, I think it's Windows tab, and you can see here that it is recognizing desktop one and desktop number two, and you've got the different apps floating there. Let's go to the next picture, and you can see here two different apps running. Calculator on one screen and photos, I think, on the other screen. So having two apps just like you do on Duo with Android here on Windows 11. This is really, really good. Here's a video that he went ahead and posted where he's showing there's some glitchiness, but that this is working. You see some of the driver, some of the graphics driver glitchiness going on there, which is, you know, look, that's not super, super unexpected, but let's just kind of watch through this. Here's the settings, the settings again, some weirdness going on there, some strange graphics driver glitchiness, but this is still really early, and this is stuff he's probably going to be able to iron 
sign out relatively quickly. Quickly, he opens up quickly. He opens up the file browser, and look at that. He's dragging it back and forth across the two monitors, just like you would do on a dual monitor setup. And he's allowing the snap window, the snap assist menu to full screen those apps on different screens. This is behaving far, far better than personally I ever expected it to behave. I mean, I was, like I said earlier, I was concerned if this was going to be seen as one monitor or not. Well, here again, confirmation, it sees it as two monitors. Snap Assist layout is all working correctly. A lot of this stuff working very well. On this next one, we have here a bit of code that I don't know exactly what this is, but Pane 1, this is running on a dual screen device, Pane 1, Pane 2, again, doubling down on what I keep saying, it sees it as two monitors. And here he's running a compute sharp test, which basically just checks, like he says here, that the shaders are okay. This basically is just sort of a test to see how well the graphics driver is working, as far as I'm aware. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but that's what it looks like to me. It looks kind of like some of the graphics drivers tests I've seen in the past, and it seems like everything is running relatively well. Something else he tweeted here, he said, I think there might be a performance gap ocean between this and the Lumia 950XL. Crazy what four years did in terms of SOC performance. Oh, and thermals are very good. So the 950XL, you know, it's a Lumia phone that people have been installing Windows on for a long time. And he's saying that Duo, even though it's, oh, it's just the Snapdragon 850, four years of performance improvement is a big deal. So he's saying Duo is probably running Windows 11 far better than the Lumia 950 XL ever thought about running. And then he also tweeted one more thing, which I'm going to sort of point out here before we talk about some stuff more deeply. After this bit here, he said, you know what OS we're trying next? And then of course he didn't respond, everyone is speculating. Of course, we do not know what OS we're going to try next, but there's many that are possible. You could do any form of Windows. Hell, uh, we know this is the very same person who helped Zach Bowden get Andromeda OS running on a Lumia 950 already. So perhaps it's time to port <laughs> Andromeda OS to Duo and see what it was what Duo was going to be had Microsoft kind of carried out their vision that that whiteboard the notepad style OS that they were building perhaps that's what he's hinting at I really don't know we can speculate all you want in the comments down below but all that being said what does it mean is this something that you guys should be excitedly looking to install on your device currently I would say that while I am pleasantly surprised at how well this is already working, and I, I will admit that it is it is much more functional in appearance than what I expected it to be, right? So being able to run two apps side by side is working already much better than I, I thought that it might at this stage in development. I will fully admit that. The fact that we do not have touchscreen functioning. The fact that he's having to use a Bluetooth mouse to move things around, I don't think that we're quite there yet. We're going to need the touch working. And personally, I'm going to need to see, you know, confirmation that cellular is working, that phone mode is working. I believe he has stated that closing the thing is shutting the screen off. I think that, I think I remember him tweeting that, but I'm not 100% sure. There's just a lot of things that still need to be done. Is the gyroscope working? You know, there's all these things that, you know, you don't really think about when you talk about porting a, an entire OS over to a device like this. You're starting from the ground up. You gotta make, make sure everything works. And if there's not a driver for the graphics, system which is the case you got to make one you got to figure something out and he's doing a lot of work and he's doing a phenomenal job and i cannot wait to see where this goes but is it something to install right now no probably not now let's jump ahead a little bit and let's say that it gets there you know touch is working cellular is working rotations working phone modes working um everything's good is it something i could see myself daily driving you know taking my sim out of my Duo 2 and putting it into that to try it for a while. I, I won't rule out trying it, but I still think that my general feeling about this still holds up. If it can dual boot and I can go back and forth, that's gonna be even better, I believe that's the case. The idea of just running Windows 11 as my mobile device operating system exclusively is not something I could see doing because I think about, you know, what do I do on Windows 11? What do I use Windows 11 for? Well, I use it to film this video I use it to edit this video, I use it to play games, and I use it to browse the web. Okay, am I going to film 
on my Duo? No. Am I going to open up my video editor? Am I open up Filmora or DaVinci Resolve and edit it? No, I'm not going to do that either. Am I going to game on it? Well, no, because there's really not going to be many games that's going to be able to run. In fact, the games I would want to play on my Surface Duo are on Android, not on Windows. So, you know, the idea would be, so yeah, you can have like two windows of internet browsers, like Edge on both screens. You can have Twitter and Reddit or whatever and do everything to your web browser. You could just kind of web app your way through and get a lot of stuff done that way. But like, I could do that here. I could do that here on Android, probably already better than I could at Windows 11. So I don't think that this is one of these projects that I'm gonna look at and be like, wow, they've made Duo better. They've made Duo different, and I'm not disparaging that at all. I am excited as I'll get out to be able to see this in first-person perspective and play with it and do dumb things with it and, and install apps and test apps. That's going to be an absolute blast. And once it's where I think I can do it and I can start installing programs and testing them and bringing that content to you, I will definitely be doing that. But do I think that this is like, oh, let's throw out Android and just do this? No, I don't think that we're quite ever going to be there either because there are just too many limitations with running full Windows on a mobile device. You're going to lose all your apps, all the, like, you're going to edit a video on it. Okay, let's install DaVinci Resolve, and then let's install CapCut, or like a mobile video editor, and you tell me which one's going to be the better experience on a mobile device, because I'm going to tell you that the one made for mobile devices is going to be a better experience than the one that wasn't, and that's kind of my point here. So, I am extremely excited, cannot wait to see what does come next. I will keep you guys updated as more news does drop, and until then, do me a favor, and stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>